Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about AI agents. AI agents are basically autonomous systems that can perform tasks or make decisions on their own. Examples of these AI agents include virtual assistants, things like Siri or Alexa. We also have the self-driving cars, chatbots, the list is endless. For our tutorial today, we are going to create an AI agent that uh, converts any content into QR code. We are going to use the Gemini model, specifically the um, Gemini Flash, uh, but I'm also going to do a future tutorial on how you can also use the Assistant API from OpenAI uh, to create an AI agent. They are a little bit different, so after this tutorial, uh, expect a new one, how to do the same with the Assistance API from OpenAI. Okay, to create an AI agent, you need two things. First, you need an LLM, that is a large language model, and also you need tools. Tools are basically the interfaces that um, the LLM interacts with to get data or post data to other application, like third-party application. So the first thing we are going to do is um, to create an API that basically takes any content, a string content, then uh, converts that into a QR code image, create a virtual environment. We've created our virtual environment, here it is. The next thing we are going to do is to create a requirements.txt file. So let's create it. Since our tool is basically an API, we need request library and let's install it. Ah, uh, sorry, we've forgotten something. We've not activated our virtual environment. Okay, here it is. Let's now install requests. Okay, that's right. The next thing we are going to do is to find an API that converts our content into a QR code. There is this website called apiNinjas.com. Let's uh, find that API. It's here. Click it. To test it, just uh, click Send Request. Yeah, this is the API that we need. Copy this code here. We need to put this into a function. I'm not going to do it, let AI do it for us. Let's go to chat GPT. So what we want it to do is basically convert uh, this code into a function while giving correct labels for data types and the return type. Okay, here it is. Just copy it. Go back to your Visual Studio code. Create a new folder called agent. Then under agent, create a new file called tools. Then paste that code here. So we need to modify this function a little bit. We don't need the API key to be a parameter here. Let's just put it here. We also don't need the file name to be a parameter and we also don't need uh, the format to be a parameter. We just need data only. Now let's put uh, this ones here. Okay. To get the API key, go back to the Ninjas website. Then go to APIs. Then click here. Yeah, this is it. You have 10,000 API calls for this month and it gets um, renewed every 30 days. Click here to show your API key and then copy it, then replace it here. Okay, that is it. Now remove that from here. So the file name, we just want it to be a random string. We need to import these two libraries and then to generate, we basically use this function. Uh, the length to be 10 character long then we need to add an extension, which is JPG. This one will be the file name of our QR code. Remove it here. The format is basically PNG, so let us just remove it here. 
Now let's create a new directory here called QR codes. All our QR codes will be stored here. Now go back to our tools file. We need to add that directory. Now I think our tool is okay. Uh, we can try it. Let's create a file called app.py. Let's import uh, this tool. No, no, no. Let's first rename this one to create QR code. Now let's import it here. Now let's call the function. Now let's run this file. Yeah, that is okay. When you go to your QR codes, yeah, here it is. Oh, we need to add a print statement so that we can see the response. Let's run again. QR code saved successfully this random name of which it's here. Right now our tool is working. The next thing we are going to do is to create an AI agent. Under agent create a new file called agent.py. So to use the Gemini model we need to install its uh, library. Let's add that to requirements.txt file. Run again pip install requirements.txt Okay, it has been installed. Go to your uh, agent.py. Let's define our class. So let us install the library to load the environment variables. Go to your uh, agent. Okay, now import the library to load the env variables. Also import the Gemini library. We also need to import OS then we call this function to load the env variables so let's configure our gen ai api key we need to add this variable to our dot env file create env file here you need to input your gemini api key i'm not going to show you mine but uh, to get yours even you can just google gemini api key get a Gemini API key in Google Studio then create your API key just simple like this you can get your API key here then after you have your API key you input it here okay that is that let's now create the function to query our model let's create our model we need to pass our model name you can also pass tools which is a list of APIs that you want this model to use. Remember we have our tool here that we, we've created. Now let's import it here. We add it as uh, one of the tool under the tools list or tools array. We need also to pass the system instruction. Let's define our system instructions up here. Let's say you are a helpful assistant and your task is to generate QR codes for any content given. You can just Google here, uh, prompt engineering guide. Now this one is a comprehensive guide, so you need to come here and learn the most efficient way on how you can query your LLM so that you can get most um, out of it. So let's continue. So system instructions, we are going to use this one. Okay, we've created our model. Now the next thing we are going to do is to create um, a chat instance. So for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple. So we are just going to enable automatic function calling. But if you want me to create a tutorial while using the other approach, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. So let us enable automatic function calling. Also, it takes a um, history object. So a history is basically the previous messages. For this tutorial, I don't really think we need history because it's basically you give the model content, then the model converts that content into QR code. So there's no need of you going back and forth. But if you want to know how you can implement history management, you can also ask me uh, on the comment section and I'll sure create a tutorial for that. Uh, the, now the next thing we are going to do is to pass the user prompt to the model. So you can basically enhance this prompt 
by adding some words prior to the user prompt that will make the model to know what it needs to do. For example, you can say generate a QR code for this content. Then here, pass the user prompt, which is data here. Then we return response.text. Now here we await the model to do everything before we get the text back. Alternatively, you can have a streaming option. If you want to know how you can implement streaming in Gemini API, you can let me know in the comment section and I'll sure create a video for you. Let us use try and catch. That is it. This is our agent. It's as simple as this. Let me say this is the cell or this is the base. If you know how to create this agent, if you know how to assign tools, if you know how to give it system instructions, then you are able to create any sophisticated agent that you can think of. Keep in mind, an agent can not only queries for information, but it can also perform other things like um, booking flights, paying for your bills. You just need to give it the API endpoints and the required parameters, then it will do the rest. The limiting factor is you. Whatever you imagine, you can just do it uh, with AI agents. Basically, you can automate literally anything. So just know this is how the agent for the Gemini model is created. But for OpenAI Assistant API, it's a little bit different. I'll sure create a tutorial for that. But for now, I want you to keep in mind that this is how these agents are created. This is how you can assign tools to them and direct them to do whatever you want them to do. Let's try to run this model. Go back to our app.py. Now, instead of importing tools, we want to import the agent itself. Now from agent.agent, .agent, now you need to import agent. Since agent is a class, we need to instantiate it. So agent equal to agent. Then print agent.createUR code. Now you pass the user prompt. So let's try to run this model. Just Python app.py. Let's hope everything works out. We can even monitor from here. If you have three images, yeah, we have it. It's here, then the agent say, okay, I've generated a QR code for Hello World. It saved us an image. This goes back to prompt engineering. You remember the prompt that we used here? Now, this is basically, um, let me say, it's not a powerful uh, way of prompting the AI. That's why we're receiving this output. But basically, we can even uh, um, ask it to output the image here in Markdown. Uh, then we can convert that Markdown to HTML text and display that image here. But that is a tutorial for another day. I want you to go and uh, do that. Go and read about the prompting here on how you can make this agent do the most by just uh, modifying the system instruction or the the prompting then le let me know how it goes but basically this is how the agents are created I'm going to push this source code to my GitHub repo then you can fork it try to advance this model for example you have a lot of APIs here that you can use so you can try to create whatever agent that you want build your agents and uh, let me know how it goes in the comment section down below so thank you for your time until next time uh, bye bye